Okay, time for another uh, weekly haul, and I just wanted to start it off by showing something that my niece made for me. I think it was last weekend when I had them over. I had my nephew and my uh, nieces over. I was watching them, and they were all down here just drawing away, you know, making little arts and crafts. They even made me some bracelets and whatnot. Uh, they're sitting over on the desk over there. Anyways, but one of my nieces, Anaya, comes up to me with a string and puts it on my head she goes i need your head measurements and i was like uh okay sort of like what is that about and she comes out you know 10 20 minutes later with this she made me a michelangelo mask like a homemade one i just i think that is the cutest thing i love it the trying to get a good look at it but anyways yeah cut it all out put the strings on herself you know colored it I just, I really appreciate that, and it's cool that she didn't even ask me, like, what my favorite turtle was. She just knew, and I just, I found that pretty cool. But, yeah, now we're going to get into the weekly haul, like, the actual items. But, yeah, I just wanted to show this off. Okay, first item is, oh, there's stuff inside of this. forgot I put stuff in here. Okay, this dope Iron Man helmet. Tell me this ain't dope. How, do, how does it work? Isn't there a button? There's a button, or maybe it shoots down. I don't know, there's a button where the helmet pops up or something. Either way, giant. It's a giant helmet, and I like getting these cool helmets. Like, I got a big old army helmet and a uh, Power Ranger helmet and, like, Shredder stuff over there. But it sucks because I can't hang them up here with all my uh, small masks, like the mask wall, but still, I like them. Let me just... Uh-oh, Corbin, what are you doing? Uh, hold on. We might be destroying it. Let's just figure out which button it is. I don't know, but there was a button. I'm not trying to mess with this much more. I'm not breaking this right now. But yeah, that dope Iron Man mask. <laughs> this is really just a Ninja Turtle bucket. Give me anything Ninja Turtle. Oh, give me anything Ninja Turtle and I'm cool. There's a giant Ninja Turtle bucket that says Dimension X on it. That'll be on the Ninja Turtle shelf, of course. Just Maybe I'll take it to the beach. Probably not. I don't really play in the sand. But this is a Spider-Man ornament. Looks like someone who ever had it previously cut off the spider web that he's shooting out of his hand. But still, can you see how he's got a present in his hand? But yeah, still nice. Still nice. And we got Trini or Aisha, whoever you prefer. Uh, Yellow Ranger keychain. And it looks like stuff's supposed to go in the back. Maybe it's supposed to be a coin purse or something. Okay, and then we got... It's a keepsake ornament. Superman. But it's also it's like a little lunch, uh, lunch pail or lunch box type thing. Can see? Oh, okay. I haven't actually really looked at this fully. I just saw it from the outside. Then we got the original cover on the back there. That's cool. I just need to put a hook up on there and we'll be set. Okay. Uh, we'll move those later on down the list. Uh, okay. There we go. For my birthday, I got Ninja Turtle cereal. But I ate it. So, normally I don't eat, like, type of, you know, foods with superheroes on them and whatnot. But I ate it. They look good and they were good. And my mom bought them again. I think she was going to buy it so I could eat them. But my mom bought me a second box. But this box will be the one that goes on display. But anyways, Ninja Turtle cereal. Then we got... I just got this as a freebie at the comic book store. I like this. Medusa, Queen of the Inhumans, Thor, Goddess of Thunder. This is for Civil War II Round 2. Just looks... That's a nice little poster. This uh, Civil War 2 is coming along really well. There are two issues in, unless you want to count issue 0. There are three issues in, but so far really good. Uh, we got the Overstreet comic book price guide right here. Now it'll just go on the shelf out front, but still. Like, Frogman? What the heck? They got comics for days up in here, but yeah. Big old book. Um, this is nice. I like this. And I just got little things like this for my birthday for my aunt, and I, I showed that in the birthday haul. This, it's not old-fashioned like it, but it's still the same type of thing. 
but yeah, we got the Avengers, the Avengers that are on TV now that replace the good Avengers show, but either way, cool little piece of art to hang up somewhere. Um, okay. Um, we got Saved by the Bell seasons three and four, which makes me mad is because seasons uh, one and two were in the same type of case scene and everything. FYE back when I bought these, and I'd say I bought that like close to a year ago. The Saved by the Bell season one and two. And that was like twenty some dollars. This one I bought at buybacks today for like I don't know three bucks. I think it was four dollars, three four dollars. Anyways, there's my there's my love Kelly. But yeah, so that was a good buy. So now I have the first four seasons. Just need five plus the college years. I don't want that new school crap. Um, my favorite movie for the longest time was Ratatouille. But this past year, it has seriously just been pushed out of my top five. It was still there, but it was number one, then it moved to number two because of uh, The Road Within, and then it moved to number three because Dope moved Road Within to number two, and Liberal Arts has popped up in there. It's not number one, it's number three, but still, I I love this movie. This is Josh Radner uh, from uh, How I Met Your Mother, and Elizabeth Olsen, one of my other, the love of my life, one of them. But anyways, fantastic movie. It's on Netflix. Recommend it. Go check it out. These next two, I was pretty pumped about. The complete final season of TMNT of the 80s series, which wasn't very hard because they don't have many episodes. I think there's like nine. Does it say on here? Uh, eight, eight episodes plus two bonus episodes, it says. But yeah, season nine of this show was not very long. But anyways, yeah, that's cool. Knocks out some more of the episodes or seasons for me for me to buy later on in life. And then we got... Ninja Turtles, Next Mutation, East Meet, Eats, blah, huh? East Meets West, where our first appearance of Venus the Milo, which me personally, I love Venus. Everybody, you know, crapped on her, but I think if they would have done her right, I think that, like if you would have introduced her in a cartoon or introduced her in a comic, you know, she could have been done right. Like this was just a really bad produced TV show, you know, like even the turtles weren't good. But yeah, Venus, I still have hope for her one day. That she'll return in some form of media, even though no one wants her, not even the creators. But yeah, no, I got this. That was a good find. And this, I was real pumped about at uh, buybacks for like $20. The uh, last trilogy, like there's been the original trilogy, the second trilogy, and the trilogy of Tomb Raider that's happening right now. Because they have a third game on the way. Anyways, I got Tomb Raider Trilogy. It's got Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Legend, Anniversary, and Underworld. I played a little bit of Underworld like years back when I was didn't even care what Tomb Raider was. But besides that, I can't wait to play all three of these. I've played the new ones. I've played, there's a game in between this and the new ones. Like uh, something about light. Temple of Light or something. I don't know. It's not a very good game in my opinion. But either way, and I've played lots of the apps. I really just, I've played all the games. I just need to play the original Tomb Raider games. Like the original three. I need to find those for my PlayStation. And I will own all the Tomb Raider games, which is awesome. Now the last one is, uh, I have now have prints of all of my favorite cosplayers. Except, well, my top five cosplayers. Which, if you there's a video of that, so I'll put a link down for that. But anyways, besides Carly Woods, that's the only person I need now. Anyways, I ordered this one of Elizabeth Rage, Black Widow. I oh my god, I love it, love it, fantastic. Then we got an old school uh, Black Cat. They're all signed. Okay, we have Silk, which uh, I finally like. When a comic book series, Civil War, I'm reading as it goes on. But normally I like to, if it, if a story arc is happening, like with Avengers, all new, all different Avengers. I read those monthly. I don't care, there's not a big story arc. But like, there was a, a Spider-Woman wo event going across uh, Spider-Woman, Spider-Woman, Silk, and Spider-Gwen. Like, four different titles. And it was eight issues, and they were going across all of them, so I had to get each from different ones that I didn't even read, like Silk or Spider-Gwen. So I saved them all up and just binged read all eight issues. Anyways, and in those eight issues, I was really... Silk's a cool character. And I just watched a video on her on the NerdSync channel, 
And honestly, I'm interested in reading more about her. Spider Gwen, I wasn't too interested in. You know, I'm she's a cool character, just I couldn't get into her series. I tried to read that. But anyways, here's her silk, which is really nice. Um and her and a bunch of the cosplayers she hangs out with, like her friends and whatnot, do Star Wars, like Princess Leia. Well, actually, they do uh, Boba Fett, Stormtroopers, all of them. But anyways, they do mashups with Disney characters. And here's Belle, Princess Leia. I don't know if she has like a specific name. Oh, almost dropped it. Specific name for it. But here's a Princess Leia with a nice dress. And... This one I ordered off the Elizabeth Rage site. I need to order some actual Hendo prints, but here's Hendo. This is Hendo over here, and Elizabeth Rage is Black Cat and Gwen Stacy. But now, because I have this print, I have a Hendo print technically. But yeah, no, I need to order some more Hendos. Need to order some uh, Carly Woods. And then I've discovered a lot of new cosplayers since I made that video. I've just really gotten more into cosplays. But yeah, no, that's it for this week's weekly haul. And until next time, mm, until next time, stay geeky.